Where? Hello and how are you? Hey friends, welcome to the Shen Show. I am your host, Shenandoah Briscoe, coming to you live right here in St. Charles, Missouri. Yes, sir, home of the first state capital of Missouri, that is. Hey, you know what? Today is Thursday, August 25th, 2016, making this V-blog number 962. Do you realize that means I've been doing this for three, two years at least? Yeah, 365 days in a year times two would be 600 and, yeah, see, I'm getting there. Anyway, hey, I got a happy birthday is going out today to Floor uh, Getchlin Dulaney and uh, K. Uh, McCuskey. So, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Floor and Kay. Happy birthday to you. And many more. Alrighty. Hey, that being said, we've got some uh, upcoming events, so we don't want to knock them out of the water. Oh, speaking of water, how about the uh, Race for the Rivers and Festival. That's right, Race for the Rivers. It's going to be August 27th. That'll be uh, Saturday, August 27th at uh, 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, location, Frontier Park. That'll be the landing point, Frontier Park. Um, but you are invited to the uh, uh, festival. Whether uh, the festival become, uh, starts at 11 a.m. and runs through 5 a.m. or 5 p.m., uh, it includes. Uh, it's open to any and all who are interested in good food, great music, and more. Information about how to encourage and enjoy healthy rivers. This part of the event will be held from 11 a.m. to 5 o'clock p.m. Now, if you want more details on the uh, uh, Race for the Rivers and Festival, why don't you visit... Whoa! Look at that there muscle spasm. Why don't you visit uh, www.racefortherivers.org. Yep, and that'll give you the... Starting points for the uh, race, um, which will be uh, the 20 mile race, will start um, bum, 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 bum. Weldon Springs, and that'll start around 9:15. You want to get in there at 9:15 so that you can uh, get the uh, mandatory safety talk, and you'll launch at 9:30. Now the uh, um, 40 mile race, that one will start at, well, you'll get in there at 9.30 and have your discussion. And that one will start at uh, 9.45. Now that one is actually starting from Washington, Missouri. So 40 miler is starting from Washington, Missouri. Safety talk at uh, 8.30 a.m. and uh, starts at 9 a.m. in Washington, Missouri. Okay, so go ahead and jump over there onto uh, www.racefortherivers.org. That's right. And then uh, you can click on one of the little icons there about or the race or the ride or the festival or the pledge of donations and or the sponsors or maps take your pick of any one of them uh i suggest you bring your own canoe and or kayak or paddle boat whichever you decide you're gonna use for your racing uh for your racing uh uh, uh festivities yeah that's what it is festivities right festivities all right, hey, let me remind you folks, if you uh, if you haven't tuned in for a while, and I haven't talked about it for a while, if you are an American veteran and you would like to uh, get free guitar lessons, why don't you find yourself over at the uh, 
over at the fine, I mean the fine arts, over at the uh, um, ACF Laboratory Art Building over here off uh, at the corner of um, 2nd Street and Riverside Drive. That's right, right down at the bottom of the corner down there. Go on down to the art, uh, the Foundry Art Center. Not the laboratory, the Foundry. Foundry Art Center. And uh, go on in there and pick you up some free guitar lessons. That'll be on uh, Saturdays from 10 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. And or uh, if you uh, would like, if you're a more, uh, more better player that you've already know how to play pretty well, then you can check yourself out over at the uh, Spellman Building over at um, Lindenwood College campus. That would be the uh, Veterans Building. Uh, you can go in there at the same time frame, uh, 10 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. And play and jam with the good old boys. All righty. Yep, that's Frank's Heroes. That's who that is. Frank's Heroes is a non-for-profit organization that was set up by uh, Bill Dennis, who is a uh, who he set it up in in memory of his father, Frank Dennis, who was a World War II uh, uh, soldier survivor uh, from the Battle of the Bulge. So, anyway, they provide free guitars. They provide books. They try to uh, try to provide guitars for over the seas, over the seas, overseas, for people that are in combat situations that want to learn as well. So they'll sh ship them over a guitar, and they'll ship them over books to learn with, and uh, great fun, great times. So find yourself over at the Spillman Building or over at the uh, Foundry Arts Center, 10 a.m. to 11:30 a.m. on Saturday mornings. Okay, here we go. I think I'm going to sing a little bit for you, and then I'm going to sing a little bit for me. Well, I'm going to sing a little bit for me. <clears throat> here we go. You never even call me by my name. Well, it was all I could do. To keep from crying. Sometimes it seems so useless to remain. But you don't have to call me darling. Darling, you never even call me by my name. You don't have to call me. Waylon Jennings, you don't have to call me Charlie Pride. You don't have to call me Merle Haggard anymore. Even though you're on my fighting side. And I'll hang around as long as you will let me. And I never minded standing in the rain, but you don't have to call me darling, darling. You never even call me by my name. Well, I've heard my name a few times in your phone book. Hello, hello. And I've seen it on signs where I have played. But the only time I know I'll hear David Allen go is when Jesus has his final judgment day. And I'll hang around as long as you will let me. And you never, and I never minded standing in the rain. But you don't have to call me darling, darling. You never even call me 
by my name. Well, a friend of mine named Steve Goodman wrote that song, and he told me it was a perfect country and western song. And I wrote him back and a letter, and I told him it was not the perfect country and western song, and because he hadn't said anything at all about mama or trains or trucks or prison or getting drunk. Well, he sat down and he wrote another verse to this song and he sent it to me and after reading it, I realized that my friend had written the perfect country and western song and I felt obliged to include it on this here album. The last verse goes like this here. Well, I was drunk the day my mama got out of prison and I went to pick her up in the rain but before I could get to the station in my pickup truck she got friend over by a danged old train and I'll hang around as long as you will let me and I never minded standing in the rain. Now nah, you have to call me darling, darling. You never even call me by my name. No, I wonder why you don't call me. Why don't you ever call me by my name? There you go. Hey, that was David Allen Cole. I hope I done that one justice. Kind of felt like I did. Now, I didn't listen to it back yet. And, well, you guys are going to have to, you know, you'll let me know, I'm sure. All right, got another one. Let's hear another different friend. Uh people uh people singer that i that i that i that i can do uh let me get another sip of the water here all right we're gonna try this one out for size it's called friends in low places by garth brooks oops that's the wrong direction Blame it all on my roots. I showed up in boots and ruined your black tie affair. The last one to know, the last one to show. I was the last one you thought you'd see there. And I saw the surprise and the fear in his eyes when I took his glass of champagne and i toasted you said honey we may be through but you'll never hear me complain cause i've got friends in lower places where the whiskey drowns and the beer chases my blues away and i'll be okay I'm not big on social graces. Think I'll slip on down to the whole oasis. Oh, I've got friends in lower places. Well, I guess I was wrong. I just don't belong. But then I've been there before. Everything's all right. I'll just say good night and I'll show myself to the door. Hey, I didn't mean to cause a big scene. Just give me an hour and then well, I'll be as high as the ivory tower that you're living in. Cause I've got friends in lower places 
Where the whiskey drowns and the beer chases my blues away. And I'll be okay. I'm not big on social graces. Think I'll slip on down to the old oasis. Oh, I've got friends in lower places. I guess I was wrong. I just don't belong. But then I've been there before. And everything is all right. I'll just say good night and I'll show myself to the door. I didn't mean to cause a big scene. Just wait till I finish my glass. Then, sweet little lady, I'll head back to the bar and you can kiss my. Well, I've got a frenzy. In lower places where the whiskey drowns and the beer chases my blues away. And I'll be okay. I'm not too big on social graces. Think I'll slip on down to the old oasis. Where I've got friends in lower places. All right, hope I done that one justice. Feel like I did. I'm hoping I did. All right, I got one more, and I'm hoping I can do this in justice too. Because, well, hey. You know what? That's not the one I wanted. Well, I'll go ahead and do it. Hold on. Whoa, hey, all right. You know what? It's it's too late to sing another song. I really wanted to sing it. I'll probably end up singing it tomorrow. Anyway, it does look like it's time for our program called The Daily Bread. And today's devotional is remembering. Yes, remembering. Remembering to get into the Word. Remembering to remember Christ. Remembering to remember all those who uh, are... Remember, just remember uh, where to hang your hopes. Okay? Uh, let's say today is Psalms, uh, 119, 17 through 19, and 130 through 134, okay? And then if you're keeping up with your Bible in the year, uh, Psalms 119, 1 through 88, and, uh, 1 Corinthians 7... 20 through 40. All right. So anyway, again, you're going to be reading your Psalms, and you're going to read it twice if you read it twice today. All right. All righty. All righty. Ugh. Okay. Now, let me go, go ahead and read the Psalms. I am jumping like a rubber band string on a beam. Really hope I didn't shut that thing off again. Been there, done that too many times. Okay, here we go. Psalms. Deal bountifully with your servant, that I may live and keep your word. Open my eyes that I may behold wonderful things from your law. I am a stranger in the truth. Do not hide your comment, your commandments from me. Well, that was 17 through 19. That was awfully short. Okay, now we're going to do Psalms 119, 130 through 134. The unfolding of your word gives light. It gives understanding to the simple. 
I opened my mouth wide and panted, for I longed for your commandments. Turn to me and be gracious to me, after your manner, with those who love your, your name. Establish my footsteps in your word, and do not let any inequity have dominion over me. Come on. Redeem me from the oppressed of man, that I may keep your pre precepts. That I may keep your precepts. Sorry about that. Mouse over here just doing all kinds of goofy shaking around lately. And I don't know what it is. It's not me. It's just the mouse. But anyway, hey, that looks like it's the end of our program for the day. So goodbye, my friends. It's time to go. I said goodbye, my friends. It's time to go. I hate to leave you, but I really must go. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. This here is Shenandoah Briscoe saying hello and how are you? Thanks for tuning in to the Shen Show. And you know, God loves you and so do I. So be blessed in Jesus' name. And come back and see me tomorrow because, well, I'll be here and I hope you are too. <laughs>